How's it going? Staying in your own lane. Have you got your goggles on? If you have no idea what the heck I was just doing, or you think I am totally insane, then you need to watch last week's post, because we are talking about staying in your own lane and not comparing yourself to others. Now, a big question that has come up for a few people, including myself, is this. Does staying in your own lane mean that you have to get super serious, super focused, really disciplined, and put the pedal to the metal? And the answer is no. On the contrary, I think that staying in your own lane actually means doing the very thing that is going to bring you the most fun, the most joy, the most sense of creativity and play, even if that's something that everybody else thinks is crazy, even if nobody agrees that you should do it, even if it actually falls into your own category of, I really shouldn't do it. I say this is a beautiful example of staying in your own lane. So just for a small example, I was teaching this morning, and when I left, my plan was to come home and attend to my very long list of to-dos. And I walked out of the gym, and there I was, at the tip of Central Park, the sun shining for the first time in days. And all I wanted to do was play. To-do list, play. To-do list, play. But I really should. But I want to play. I really should. But I want to play. Guess what I did? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That was me skipping through Central Park by myself with my iPhone for you. I would have shown you more, but my iPhone battery was dying. The point is that sometimes we just need to honor that very thing that we want to do that doesn't even make sense at all. This is staying in your own lane. And I have to tell you, those two hours in the park were the most exhilarating, relaxing fun I have had in a really long time. So my question is this. Is there something that you have been wanting to do that doesn't make sense, that maybe other people think is crazy, that maybe you even think, oh my God, I really shouldn't do this. I want you to go ahead and leave me a comment below and tell me what that thing is and show us what your example of staying in your own lane is. Because remember, your lane, no pain. I love that line. Thank you, Johnny Pollock. And if you are not on my list, I want you to go over and hop on over to erinstutland.com and sign up because I am going to have a freebie, a giveaway in the next few weeks that I think you are going to love. So go ahead and leave me a comment. Let me know what you are going to do this week that inspires you. And in the meantime, I am going out to play. My lane, no pain with my goggles. I'm not a diva. I'm not, 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 I'm not a diva.